what is going on guys and welcome back to another video and here's a quick question do you guys prefer all your news in one video or do you prefer it spread out across multiple videos so if you can let me know down below whether you prefer it in one video or spread out across multiple that would really be helpful so i can decide kind of what to do in the future uh because I don't mind making multiple, it just takes a while to upload them. And I feel like it gives me an opportunity to talk more about the things in the video. <sighs> but anyways, let's get into it. Uh, this one's from CNN, uh, and it's pretty sad. Uh, two young boys um, stayed the car safety after their father was fatally shot while driving. Uh, not a lot is known about this, but um, a 20 year old, 29 year old man uh, he'd be driving his um, Toyota Squirrela on the Interstate 10 in Houston with his sons, aged 8 and 6. When he was shot um, just before 11pm, the police department have um, said from the public information up to John Cannon. He told CNN this, and the victim's sons uh, managed to steer the SUV off the freeway to a strip mall parking lot where one of the children got out of the car and ran to get help. Um... Unfortunately, his father was pronounced dead at scene. Um, both boys were unharmed. It's really amazing that they actually managed to do this and steer this vehicle off the freeway. It must, all of this must have been terribly traumatizing and horrible. Just absolutely devastating for them. Um, it's amazing that they managed to steer this off the freeway though and um, get and weren't harmed he, and it's obviously really tragic that the father was the police are looking for the shooter um they aren't sure what the motive for this was um they don't know whether it was targeted or whether it was road rage kind of said um you know they don't know what it is yet but they're looking into it um all they know is that they're looking for a white passenger vehicle kind of said and they're investigating the area and trying to get any witnesses and Review footage from cameras on the freeway to see if there's anything at all that they can do about it. But yeah, as always, I'll leave the links to the descriptions to the articles down below. So uh, if anyone knows anything about this, there is Crime Stoppers number. If you live in Houston and witness this, then there is that. Um, it's, it's a horrible story. Thank God the kids are safe, though. Um, that this because on the highway that. They did something amazing, imagine, to get that vehicle safely stopped. Um, yeah. So we have another one, and this one is from BBC, and this one's pretty savage. Um, yeah, uh, a man's been arrested um, in uh, over Birmingham, gave a village attack. Um, so a man has been uh, invested in connection with a violent uh, homophobic attack in uh, Birmingham. Robert and Patrick in their 30s were abused and attacked outside the missing bar in um, from Scrub Street in the city's Cape Village on 15th of August. Uh, the abuse was shot from a car and the pair were assaulted with bottles. Uh, it's, it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. But the people who did this um, apparently have been arrested in connection with it, so hopefully to get the other ones. Uh, it's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to linger on this one too much because it's pretty horrific. But you can see the attack was really savage. Uh, next one we have is again from CNN, and this one's Trump. Trump tells crowd to get vaccinated, and this is the response. Uh, it's from CNN. I don't know when this is from though. Apparently, it's recent. Uh, they don't put dates on their videos for some reason. Like, is that very helpful, is it? Where there's, like, no date. Uh, yeah, well, I'll play the clip. I believe totally in your freedoms. I do. You got to do what you have to do. But I recommend take the vaccines. I did it. It's good. Take the vaccines. But you got... No, that's okay. That's all right. You got your freedoms. But I happen to take the vaccine. If it doesn't work, you'll be the first to know, okay? <laughs> well, you so, know, yeah. Heather and I were... So, that's basically the clip. Uh, 
He gets booed for it. Um, interesting to say Trump to say that, though. I uh, would have expected him to go the other way. Um, but surprisingly, he actually does tell me we'll get back to that. It, it's interesting. It's an interesting shift in his positioning. But yeah, uh, odd one. But yeah, he got booed for it, so... If he's changed his policies a bit, we'll have to see if he changes any of his policies, really, but from what it seems like he has made some changes, there uh, might be backlash from some of his uh, more loyal supporters who thought he had implications to lean towards them, especially the anti-vaxxer community, um, yeah. So anyways, moving on to OPB. Uh, gunfire erupts after Proud Boys and Anti-Fascists open brawl in Portland without police intervention. This one's pretty, like, out there um, in terms of what is going on. Fari groups are gathered Sunday in Portland for an event they call The Summer of Love. Not The Summer of Love, clearly. You love people. Like, I don't even know. I, I don't even know how to describe that in a way that would ever make any sense. You know, it, 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 it's a meme, right? It's a troll, right? It, there's no love to be had there. Um, so even as the rally date was chosen to commemorate an extremely violent clash last summer in the city, the event ended with a roving brawl along busy city streets in the Park Wars neighborhood and shots being fired in downtown Portland. No one was reported injured in the shooting incident. But um, anti-fascist anti -fascist and far-left um, demonstrators gathered downtown earlier in the day to oppose the group. Um, after the violence ended in northeast Portland, an identified man fired a handgun at the um, what appeared to be a group of anti-fascists downtown and far-left supporters. Portland police moved in and arrested the man. Video policy online also appeared to draw someone shooting back at the man uh, after he opened fired. Information was not immediately available on what led to the shooting. And earlier today, a lot of stuff had been going on. Um, I won't go into like this bit because they were basically at the water park, um, commercial parking area in northeast Portland. That's like the important bit from this. Um, one of the far right extremists of the Pro Boys says, We're not going to stand down, to he said. He had that this group was not playing this time. And. They weren't, because, yeah, they were shopping at local, <sighs> like, this just went bad to worse, right? Various speakers at Broadway stage referred to people in the January 6th uh, capital riots as political prisoners. Um, the anti-fascists began to gather outside the uh, Proud Boys event, and they exchanged words for hours and hours and hours. But um, things got worse um, around 4 p.m. as Proud Boys and Night Fascists ran along 122nd Avenue, exchanging paintballs and bear mace. Some people in the crowd threw mortar fireworks near a Chevron gas station, which had to be closed. Uh, the Portland police did not show up as the two sides clashed. Witnesses said the violence began when a white van attempted to pull into the parking lot where the Summer of Love event was taking place, and the members of the Proud Boys later flipped the van over. The van right here that's outside tried pulling into the parking lot and all these proud boys gate security started hitting it with bars, play with bats and busting the windows out, one witness said, who did not want to be identified. Um, the witness says um, people got out of the van and started to run away and the proud boys attacked them. I saw this dude beating a woman. There was like two ladies that got hit. It was a nightmare. It was terrifying, they said. The witness said they had lived in Portland 15 years and had been practicing driving in a nearby lot with another person. Uh, they described a lack of police intervention in the violence that unfolded. If this was Laurelhurst, this wouldn't be happening, the witness said, referring to a wealthy in a Portland neighborhood. They would have shut this down um, already. And, yeah. So, they were captured on video of the Proud Boys attacking people, vehicles who they believe to be anti-fascist or far-left people. After the group disengaged from each other, Tweez and other Proud Boys could do drive around Portland, shooting paintballs at people. So, yeah. 
uh, basically the police um, said that they uh, had staffing shortages and cannot separate groups that have historically engaged in police. As a reason for large contingents of officers cannot separate groups that have historically engaged in political violence. So basically, because of staffing shortages, they didn't try. The Portland P uh, Police Bureau is prepared to monitor this event and make arrests for crimes when resources allow. That does not always happen in the moment, says it is written in a statement. Just because arrests are not made seen uh, when tensions are high, does not mean that people are not being charged with crimes later. Uh, it's... This is, this is the striking one here, right? Had the situation worsened, we would have taken action immediately, Morrissey said. He said they will be conducting follow-up investigations, making arrests and forwarding cases to the Multoma County District. Attorney for Prosecution. Now, what I want to say here is, how stupid is that? Like, as a policy? Oh, if the situation has worsened, Wait, so people getting the van flipped, getting attacked, a gas station could have possibly blown up. Um, let's just be real there, right? Like, that was enough to warrant police intervention. Like, what? People getting assaulted in the street? Is it not enough for police intervention? Like, what kind of police force are you running where that is your policy, right? That's, that's like fucking insane. Frankly, it's absolutely insane to expect that. Uh, yeah. Mad. Absolutely mad. Um, I think, like, um, it's absurd. Anyways, moving on to Sky News. London police hope man over alleged anti-Semitic attack in Stamford Hill. Detectives have been of help to identify a man um, following an unprovoked attack. Which is being treated as a hate crime. Um, it was after a, someone who was a 64 year old man was making his way to a synagogue when he was struck at random. The victim had suffered facial injuries and fell to the floor, breaking the board in his foot. He's treated in hospital before being discharged. No arrests have been made, uh, said the Met Police. Uh, inquiries continue. The image released by detectives relates to a man they need to identify and speak with in connection with the assault. So, yeah. There's not a lot with this one. Well, apparently someone's got assaulted walking down the street. Which is disgusting. And apparently he wasn't robbed or anything. He was just straight up attacked for... Presumably he was wearing items of his faith and was heading to the synagogue. Um, and he just got attacked for it, which is disturbing, not to say the least. Uh, hopefully they actually catch the person who did it. It's a lot of stuff, isn't it, right, lately? It's just a lot of violence and horrible stuff happening everywhere, it seems. And more now than before. There seems to be more... Not just crime, but violent, like, very violent crime, right? It's kind of disturbing in that sense. Uh... I think we'll end the video here, though. There isn't really much more news to talk about um, today. Let me know down below um, whether you prefer videos to be separate or whether you prefer videos to be together. Be together. I feel like if they're separate, then I have more time to talk about stuff. But then I feel like that doesn't really help a lot of people because some people just want news fast. Uh, so, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. And I can speed it up or slow it down or maybe do a mix it to where I just do a roundup of the main stuff. And then do um, a few in-depth videos on other stuff that takes longer to talk about. Just let me know down below what you guys think. As always, if you liked the video, hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.